Good day everyone, I'm Sir Dan Apostol. In this video, we are going to discuss subsets of a line. What are the subsets of a line? First, we have line segment or segment. And the other one is ray. First, let us define line segment or segment. What is a line segment? A segment is a subset of a line that has two endpoints and therefore it has definite length. So meron daw siyang two endpoints. Ito yung line natin which is line AB. Pag hinati natin siya sa point A and hinati natin siya sa point B, yung parts na nasa gitna nila that is a line segment. So yon. So we can name this as line segment AB or line segment BA. So pwedeng mauna yung point A, then B. Pwedeng mauna yung B and uh, to A. So pwedeng magkabaligtaran. Now let us uh, have this example. Let us name all the line segment that we can uh, identify in this line. So meron tayong point A, point B, point C, and point D. So first, uh, let us assign a point. So yung point A. Ano ba ang mga line segment or segments na mabubuo natin from point A? So meron tayong, okay, from point A to point B, meron tayong line segment AB or line segment BA. Another, from point A to point C, makakabuo tayo ng line segment AC or CA. So, from, from point A to point D, makakabuo tayo ng line segment AD or DA. Again, uh, kunin naman natin yung point B. Ano ang mga mabubuo natin na line segment from point B? So, from point B to point C, meron tayong line segment BC or CB. And also, from point B to point D, meron tayong line segment BD or DB. So, hindi na natin uh, babalikan pa yung point A kasi andito na yung line segment BA. Next. So, from point C naman, ano yung mga line segment na mabubuo natin? So, we have line segment CD or DC. So, these are the line segments that when uh, we can identify in using this example. So, meron tayong line segment AB or BA, line segment AC or CA, line segment AD or DA, Line segment BC or CB, line segment BD or DB, line segment CD or DC. So we have six line segments. Next is ray. Ray is a subset of a line that has one endpoint and goes on infinitely in only one direction. So it has only one endpoint and extend infinitely in one direction. So, example natin, we have this uh, line AC with points A, B, and C. So, para makabuo tayo ng ray, uh, we, uh, we will assign an endpoint. So, in this uh, example, ang um, i-assign natin yung point B. So, from, from point B to point A, makakabuo tayo ng ray na nag extend sa kaliwa. And also, from point B, makakabuo tayo ng ray from, uh, to point C na nag extend sa kanan. So, example muna natin yung point, uh, yung end point B to point A papunta sa kaliwa. So, makakabuo tayo dyan ng ray BA. Take note na in naming array, dapat inuuna natin yung end point. So, this is ray BA. 
Next, let's uh, name all the rays we can find in this example. So, para makuha natin yung ray in this example, kailangan muna natin mag-assign ng endpoint. So, let us assign first point A as endpoint. So, from point A to point B, makakabuo tayo ng ray AB. And from point A to point C, makakabuo tayo ng ray AC. So, another, pag in natin ng endpoint yung B, makakabuo rin tayo ng okay, from point B to point C, that is ray PC. And also, from point B to point A, makakabuo tayo ng ray BA. Next, ang endpoint naman natin is yung point C. So, from point C to point B, meron tayong another ray, which is ray CB. And from point C to point A, meron tayong ray CA. So, in naming array, again, ang first natin ilalagay or ang first natin gagamitin is the endpoint. Followed by the point na kung saan papunta yung ray natin. The question is, pwede bang tawagin tong ray CA as ray AC? Okay, hindi po pwede dahil uh, magkaiba po sila ng endpoint. Ang endpoint po ng uh, ray CA is the endpoint C. And yung dito sa ray AC ay yung A. So magkaiba po ang ray na merong, mag, na merong magkaiba na endpoints and points na kasama sa ray. These are the subsets of the line. So we have the line segment and the ray. Hope you understand our video. Thank you for watching and see you on our next upload. Thank you and God bless.